Hi, my name is Marissa from Think Together. In this lesson, we will learn more about artist Judy Chicago's smoke sculptured art. Are you ready for fireworks? Before we get started, let's go over our agreements for this lesson. Please stay engaged during this lesson and be accountable for the learning during this lesson. How many of you use social media? What are some of the coolest features that you used when you posted a photo or video? What are these features called? When filters and lenses are used, it is what we call augmented reality. Augmented reality, AR, is an interactive experience in a real world environment where the objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer generated information. This should not be confused with virtual reality. Virtual reality, VR, is simulated experience that can be similar to or completely different from the real world, like what you've seen in video games or in real world applications for medical or military training. Here are our learning objectives for this lesson. We will examine the impact of new technology and apply relevant vocabulary to discuss methods of displaying artwork. We will analyze the way images influence specific audiences. And we will compare and contrast viewing experiences in different venues, including art and public spaces. Think about other social media filters and lenses you have seen, like bunny ears, face swaps, Pokemon Go, and others. What is the impact on the viewer? How does creating virtual experience make it easier or harder for the artist's work to be seen? How does placing the art in the different location change the impact of the art? Social AR is augmented reality, camera filters or lenses viewed through social apps such as Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Many social networks have AR capabilities. It is a digital interactive interface presented inside our real world context. AR at its core is interacting with the world around you or superimposed images. Superimposing is to place or lay one thing over another, typically so that both are still evident. Emotive color is color relating to emotion. For instance, the color yellow is often given the feeling of happiness. Tremblay is a style of painting in which objects are depicted with photographical realistic detail or something that misleads or deceives a scene like an illusion. In Judy Chicago's latest work, she wanted to feminize and soften the landscape. She ignited color smokes in various locations to create images which augmented the reality of the land. She would create art on the land and leave no trace behind except photographs. Let's explore augmented reality within the desert landscape and take a look at Judy Chicago's A Firework Story video. While you are watching the video, pay close attention to how this video connects to what you are learning about augmented reality as well as emotive color. What came to mind as you were watching the art develop? How does this land art align with what we know about augmented reality? How does the colors in this smoke sculpture make you feel as a viewer? Judy Chicago says, our smoke sculptures are just that. They are a mode of color in the air to be experienced and enjoyed. Now that we have a better understanding of Judy Chicago's smoke sculpture, we are going to make our very own fireworks story. You will need a device that can download the Rainbow AR app. The Rainbow AR app is available for free in the Google Play for Android and the Apple Store for Apple. I will give you a few moments to download the app on your preferred device. You can pause this video here and download the app and try it out around your house or outside. How does it feel to create your own augmented reality land art? How does creating virtual experience make it easier or harder for the artist's work to be seen? Placing art in a different location can change the impact of the art, like public art, 
land art, or installation art. What message did you want to convey with your art and its location? You can create augmented reality without using technology too. All you need is a piece of paper and an object. Roll your paper up like a tube and use it like your own camera lens. Use your object in front in various backgrounds and observe how placing it near or far to create the illusion of your choice. How is this activity related to what you know about augmented reality? What did you learn about augmented reality as it relates to social media? How did Judy Chicago use of colored smoke create something to be experienced and enjoyed? How did using the Rainbow AR app showcase the impact of art in different locations? Here are some additional art activities you can do at home. Try forced perspective photography by using distance between your subject and create a unique image. Use recycled materials for your own art installation like this toilet paper roll mural. Use sticky notes on your wall to create art. Use natural elements to create yard art. Thank you for joining us for Judy Chicago, Are You Ready for Fireworks?